Hey YouTubers, MBH45304 here. Now we got the RCA Victor out of the way. We're going to start dismantling this 1955 Sylvania 542 GR alarm clock. And last night I spent some time taking the guts out of the cabinet and cleaning it up a little bit. I don't know how to get these white marks out of this plexiglass or in between the layers. Uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, as I told you on the 55 L3 Motorola radio I had took the yellowness out of it, but these white specks are just they're staying. They won't come out. It looked like somebody had taken car wax, like green turtle wax, to the inside edges of this uh, plexiglass frame. I cleaned all that out. That was just so nasty inside. The case itself is in good shape. Uh, all the numbers are good on it. They don't really have any scuffs except for the bottom. The inside is just absolutely filthy on the thing as you can see there it just needs a good cleaning internally the bottom's got a little bit of marring you know it ain't real real bad but as for the chassis the clock chassis comes out this is a sessions clock uh... it does not run if anybody can give me any information or has any tips on a sessions timepiece i don't know if this one has the actual model number on it but this one here, it's a 31 74665 1 Sessions Clock Company, Forestville, Connecticut. And uh, it does not run. As far as I know, the red and the black, this being one of your hot leads, the black being your other hot leads, the blue is your switch lead from your sleep timer. Turns out off and on. The mechanism is free, it will move. As for the radio, I know, of course, from 1955, it's going to need a total and complete recapping. Everything in here, a lot of these caps look like they have sweated and they're just sticky because they're breaking down. There's nine caps, eight caps in the electrolytic that needs replaced in here. And uh, as of right now, it'll come up and it'll just hum. Bad electrolytics, of course, and I haven't went any farther than that. Uh, the speaker is getting very brittle around the edges. It's cracked, it's dry. You can see where it's kind of split there. It's got a split here which was cracked when I took it out of the cabinet. It's free, it will move. The tuning capacitor is stiff but it moves. It just needs a little bit of lubrication, I think, and it'll free right up. Right there, it really gets tight. But this is our next project. Uh, this thing has all of its original Sylvania tubes, and uh, call the capacitors, electrolytics are original, and it just needs a heck of a cleaning. It's just absolutely filthy up here. So, this is our next project to start, and uh, hopefully, in the next couple of days, next week or so, if everything's not very busy, we'll get this one buttoned up and get her back together, and I'll post a video for you.